After covering the model with the main color, Katachin Green, I decided to add some beads and pieces. I choose to make the basket for a spare wheel. To do it, I prepared some plastic art elements and glued them together to make the fitting frame, which fits perfectly around the wheel. After adding a few rivets, the detail is done. I decided to place it on the side of the hull next to the sponson. Back to painting. There is a fuel tank on the left, which had only covered with catachan green. On the right we can see the same detail, but already covered with the first layer of highlighting with camo green. Similarly, all elements of the armor I highlighted with camo green. Where I wanted more light to be cast on painted surface, I applied more highlighting onto the piece. It's time for secondary highlight. Similarly, the elements that are supposed to be brighter are treated with more highlighting. Again, horizontal surfaces are painted with a lighter colors than the vertical ones. Here is model after highlighting is done. It's now time to secure the surfaces with satin varnish. I covered the surfaces that will bear decals with gloss varnish. Then, using decal liquid, I apply the markings. The time has now come to mount the lighting in the model. I started assembling the prepared parts. To fit the LEDs in front lamps, I was forced to file them a little. Final check if everything is working fine. I soldered the cabling. I installed a switch in the floor of the model for convenience. I can replace the batteries easily after taking the turret off using tweezers. It's time to wash the rivets. Each and every one of them had some wash applied. I made the wash out of black and dark brown paints. The right side of the model already has the wash applied, unlike the left. Doing this makes the rivets more substantial and improves the depth and complexity of the model. Here is assembled model. Thanks to the wash, it has strong contrasts.
first I applied some dark mud. The dark color makes for feeling a moist and freshness of the mud. The next step was adding the pigments onto the model. I mainly apply bright, dry matte or dust colored pigments. I also applied it to the spots where the dark pigment was originally added. I finally applied some rusty pigment onto the spots where corrosion and rust residue might have accumulated. As long as the pigment isn't secured, we can just brush the excess off. After using isopropyl alcohol to secure the pigment and coat of lacquer, the model looks like this. Thank you for the watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe.